Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to solve an algebraic expression with square roots and fractions using the substitution method. So let's get started. Alright, so on the TSI test or in any algebraic test you can always use the substitution method. It is a good method for solving up some equations. Uh, at the end of this video, if you're interested, I'll also show the algebraic method. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy my algebra, my equation here. And then I'm going to substitute, meaning that I'm going to replace the letter x with some parentheses. And now all I need to do is start plugging in numbers. So for example, negative 48 is the first answer choice. So I'm going to put negative 48 into the parentheses. Okay, well I'm going to get 4 equals, and, and negative, negative divided by positive is, is going to make me a negative. And 48 divided by 3, I don't need a fraction for that, 48 divided by 3 is 16. Okay, so I have a negative under the square root, that means I absolutely cannot go any further than this. Okay, so uh, negative under the square root isn't forbidden, it means that there would be no real solutions. And that's certainly not what we want. We wanted something that equals out to be the number 4. So please do not think that the answer here is just, oh, 16 and 4, they look good. Uh, the negative sign is super important. It means that we cannot solve this. Uh, there are no real solutions for this. Okay, so now we're going to try positive 48. Well, if it becomes positive 48, Basically, the only difference is we eliminated that negative sign. So positive divided by positive makes positive. 48 divided by 3 makes 16. And the square root of 16 is, in fact, 4. So here, I have a nice answer. Okay, so there we go. 48 is the correct answer uh, for this problem. All right, so you can see that the substitution method is very powerful, but you could also use the algebraic method, which is also very quick. 4 equals the square root of x over 3. I'll make my little equation map over here. Adding is canceled by subtracting. Multiplying is canceled by dividing. And squaring is canceled by the square root. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is recognize that my answer needs to be x equals a number. Okay, and what I'm going to do here in this case is say, okay, well, I see a huge square root, and I, I want to get rid of that. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is move the square root over to the left and put the 4 on the right. So now everything lines up nicely. x is going to be on the left. Number side is going to be on the right. Next thing I'm going to do is get rid of that square root by putting parentheses and squaring it. And if you do it on one side, you have to do it on the other side. Okay, so the square root and the square are opposites, and that means that they cancel each other out. So what's left? Well, x divided by 3 equals, and 4 squared is 16, because 4 times itself is 16. Okay, so now I get x over 3 equals 16. Well, the opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So if I multiply by 3 on this side, I can also multiply by 3 on this side. Multiplying and dividing by the same thing cross each other out because they are opposites. And now I'm going to get x equals 16 times 3. 16 times 3 is 48. And you can see that that is the exact answer that we had on choice B. Alright, so you've seen the substitution and the algebraic methods. Either one will get you the correct answer. Uh, if you're on a test and you're a panicker, feel free to use the substitution method. It is mathematical and it is a great backup method. Alright, uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon and of course to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.